Yeah, uh, Peter, I'm 22. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you, Doctor. So, how are you doing today? Yeah, I'm absolutely fine, ma'am. Okay, so can you tell me about the hospital in Yeah, you know, I mean, uh, just like two days ago, uh, I was uh, in the supermarket and you know, suddenly, I don't know, I just had this bad cough and shortness of breath. It was really bad. And you know, somebody uh, from the market just called out and I came to him. I'm so sorry to hear that. So, this is the first time you have had Yeah, I mean, it's my first asthma attack. You know, I was diagnosed with asthma a few weeks ago when I came for my routine checkup. Right? And then uh, I was told I have asthma. I'm feeling this new inhaler as well. I can never use it though, because I didn't feel like using it because I was fine. But then, uh, uh, three days ago, it was really bad. Yeah. And I didn't have my inhaler with me. So, I just came to the hospital. So, that, that is also what so, as you told me that you had this, you were having diagnosed with this two mm-hmm. years, right? And you were giving all the medications. Yeah, you, you inhaled it, but I never used it as I said, because I never felt like using it, I was fine. Okay, so tell me more about that you had this inhaler before. Sure. Mm-hmm. So, is there any other things that you're facing right now? No, I'm fine. I just wanted to know when I'll be able to go home. Yes, I'll just uh, quickly ask it to you. And then we'll be able to decide what mm-hmm. is going to happen. Sure. Okay. So, um, do you have any other uh, symptoms like any chest tightness right now? No. Any knee? No. Any cough or fever? Spine. Spine. Okay. okay. Uh, few questions about your past and your history. Are you diagnosed with any other condition of past and asthma? No. Do you have any uh, condition like has eczema? Eczema? What's that? <laughs> It's a skin condition. Do you have it? No, I don't think so. No. Okay. Any kind of allergies? No. Any part in your family you have any kind of uh, condition? Uh, no. Okay, that's good. Uh, so, what is your body also? Uh, do you smoke? Yeah, I do. I do smoke. I've had a packet of cigarettes for the last uh, about five years. Okay. Okay. Um, how about your alcohol? Yeah, maybe once in a while you can smoke my alcohol. And about your know, exercise, I mean, do you think you can take a Yeah, I mean, I do exercise from um, time to time, like four, five days a week. Okay. And what do you do for a day? I'm sleeping. I'm going to be sleeping. Okay. Is there anything else that I should do in there? No, that's it. I mean, I'm just uh, wondering what I'll be able to go home now. Okay. Right, right, right. I just need to explain a few things to you. So I just quickly examine you, take your records, okay, and you and do test examination. This examination is normal, no weeks. Okay. So uh, Peter, I examined you and uh, I um, I can see that everything is fine with you and you can go home. Okay. But before that there are a couple of things that we need to talk about. Sure. Okay. So I have to explain you about the medication, uh, something called an asthma diary. Okay. And also, um, this PEA factor is there. Sure. Okay, so which one would you like to do first? Up to you. Okay, so we'll start with the medication. Mm-hmm. Right? Yeah. So there are uh, these two inhalers. Mm-hmm. Uh, have, do you already have the blue inhaler? Mm-hmm. Okay. So do you know the function? I mean, I was told, like, because I've got the symptoms, I should take it. Yeah. So if you can explain the brown one, that would be great. Okay, that's fine. So this is called a uh, pepidinter inhaler. So you need to take this on a daily basis, okay, so that you don't have this effect. Okay, and you need to take it three times in a day. Yeah, and every time you need to take the, uh, you need to take uh, two cups of it. Okay. And whenever you uh, take it, make sure that uh, you check the expiry date. Uh-huh. Okay, sure. Right? And you also you shake the shake the needle to take this. Mm, yeah. Sure. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Then uh, also you need to remove it and then put it in your mouth and then uh, press it. Yeah, okay. Then after that, um, we have the blue inhaler. Yeah, I know about that. Okay, then you can take it. And we, this is a medication called as Pedisma. Mm-hmm. You need to take it twice daily. Once daily, okay. And for three days only. How many tablets? One, one tablet. It's ten every two days. 
Okay, so we need to take it uh, three tablets. One time or morning, afternoon? Well, that's the question. At once, we need to take three tablets. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, after this, there are some adults that also do it. Meditation, but they are perfectly managing. Right? Would you like to have one? Yeah, sure. Okay, so um, for this uh, brown tea folder, Okay, you can have something for this little cash. Okay. How do you know the bottle? With the infection. Right, right. Yeah. It could, it could cause an infection in your mouth. Mm -hmm. So what you can do is try to rinse your mouth, you know, after using it. Right, okay. Mm -hmm. And um, for the blue inhaler, you can have something like heart, breathing of your heart. Mm -hmm. Sometimes you can have tremors. But uh, it, it is highly unlikely to occur because you won't be taking it on a daily basis. Uh huh. Yeah, makes sense. And how are we taking these inhalers? Well, on three tap, we have to take the inhaler like that. Okay. But you can, uh, you know, arrange like the toilets for you, and mm -hmm. you can also check on you and your symptoms, mm -hmm. and then uh, we can decide on you. Yeah, sure. Mm -hmm. Okay. Then there is something called asthma like this. Yeah. So, have you heard about it before? As for diabetes, uh, not really. Okay, so I will be showing you what it is. Mm -hmm. So, as uh, you can see that uh, um, this is a diary in which you need to write, uh, um, I mean, there are days mentioned in it. There's uh, seven days, I believe. And then you need to put the date whenever you find something is positive. For example, if you are using the reliever inhaler, then you need to put the date on that. Okay. Yeah. So there are uh, four things like this within the diary. Mm -hmm. Okay, you need to put the date whenever something is happening. Right. Okay. Is that fine? Sure. And also you need uh, to do the uh, okay. uh, okay. uh, okay. uh, okay. uh, okay. okay. In this device. Uh, yes. Was using it in the hospital. So can you show me how to use it? Yes. Assume I've done it correctly. <laughs> <laughs> okay, you just go um, back, that's just like the case. Okay. That's very good. So, you need to uh, do this and you need to record the, uh, um, you need to record the findings. Okay. So, you need to do it two times in a day. Okay. During the morning and the evening. Sure. Mm -hmm. yeah. And whenever you do it, move to the next session. Yeah. Thank you, Doctor. <laughs> How was it? There are too many things, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> so, what do you think the sequence of the scenario was okay or not okay? Somehow okay, but the one thing was missing. Let's see. So, uh, patient mentioned in the beginning that I have uh, asthma. I mean, I was diagnosed maybe a few weeks ago, but uh, my first asthma attack three days ago. I was in a supermarket. Maybe you could have explored what were you doing in the supermarket because you may be able to find a trigger factor there. Isn't it? Explore that part. I know that later, later on, you're trying to find something. Uh, I mean, in terms of risk factor, you couldn't find any. But maybe try there. I got, I gave you smoking. Maybe that's one. But see what he was doing in the supermarket. Maybe he was exerting, just brushing your hair and there. I don't know. But explore maybe that is the thing. Yeah. So uh, ask questions. As she asked, if you still have cough, you still have shortness of breath or chest pain, and she asked me, and then no, that's uh, nothing there. Ask about some trigger factors. She actually asked me uh, many trigger factors. That was okay. Then after doing history, do examination. Examination, general physical vitals and chest. She said, I said that's normal. You could have done one more thing in examination. E E S bars. If the if the reading is less than seventy five percent, are you gonna send me home? So maybe you could have done that before, isn't it? And the reading that I gave you, maybe you can compare. How? So I gave you what reading? 600. So, what do you think? Can I go home or not? Height, 192 centimeters. Yeah. <laughs> so the normal is around the 620, 630, isn't it? So I gave her 600. What does it mean? Is it more than 75%? Yes, definitely. So you can go home, patient is fed. That's how you are done with your first part of the scenario. Right now, 
Uh, what we are saying is we have given you some medications, right? So you can explain the medication as well. So blue brown inhaler. Uh, I was giving more stress to brown. I was just trying to save her time. Did you notice I saved her time in many areas? When she said about PEFR, what I said I know about it. If I want to waste her time, I'll say I know, but explain it once more. This is what happens in the exam. If they like you, they'll help you. If they don't like you, they'll do these things, right? So just be careful on that. The way you explain the uh, inhaler was not very clear to me. If you want to explain it once more. So, um, this is a brown inhaler. Okay. It is the, um, How do you take it? So, uh, first of all, you need to make sure that the tray is not expired. Fine. Then you have to shake the inhaler. Yeah. Okay, then you need to open mm -hmm. uh, sesames and put it in your mouth. Mm -hmm. Make sure that you make a tight seal. Mm -hmm. And then uh, press the button on the mm -hmm. You need to You need to take a few puffs at a time. And <laughs> okay, okay, okay. So, uh, what we are doing is, uh, I mean, of course, you have to take this off and uh, we shake it well, make a puff in the air. If you have not used it for long, you check expiry date as well. And you hold this way upside down. Then we breathe in and out. Yeah. And then if you uh, take this in your mouth, and then you press the canister once, once. And then you breathe in and then you hold the breath for 10 seconds or more if you can. And then if you need to use another puff, you wait for a few seconds and then only you do it. Two at a time is not a good idea, right? So just make it clear, don't explain like this. <laughs> Have you seen this here? Yeah? <laughs> right. Uh, so that's how we can explain. And if you have a time, you can uh, talk a bit more about the asthma diary. And if you didn't get much time, then uh, maybe you can just use that asthma diary. As mentioned, I'll be giving you that asthma diary. You know, last half a minute or one minute, you, know, you could have spent asking me if I have got any concern. See, asthma diary, of course, you can explain it to the patient. But I think patient might have some concerns as well. Because asthma diary, you can explain in one line as well that I'll give you asthma diary. It's self-explanatory, but I think 